Hello, as always, my name is William James. Down below are all of my links, so if you want to get in touch, click away. So, I read Breach of the Peace by Daniel Green, Booktube's own fantasy tuber, and what can I say about him? I've always been a fan of Daniel Green. I always have been. Um, yes, we differ on a few things, but definitely I enjoy his videos and he's opened my eyes to a few books and things that I kind of ignored. Although I still disagree with you, Daniel, on your views of the will of time, but that goes without saying. I'm just kidding, by the way. Anyway, he started writing a novella and that's what this is. This is a about 100 pages. I think it's 98 on my Kindle novella. And you have... It's it's interesting because novellas are either going to be very good or very bad. And a little novella like this is perfect. It's kind of a bite-sized little intro into what he's planning. Um, he's got a couple of these novellas to go and then he's going to do a novel. And I'm genuinely looking forward to it. So, what's the story? When an Imperial family is found butchered, officers of God are called to investigate... Evidence points to a rebel group trying to put fear into the very heart of the Empire. And this is where I'm going to leave it. I don't want to say too much on the story. Just that you know, this has a lot of twists and turns. It does a lot. And in a very short amount of time, which has surprised me, and it's interesting because you can definitely see his taste come through in this book. It's apparently, like I said, a little trilogy of novellas leading up to a full novel series. And I want to say that there's been a few people ripping him apart for this. I've seen a few naysayers going, well, it's been so quick. It's rushed. Oh, the cover is so cheesy. By the way, how is this cover cheesy? I did see someone moaning about, oh my god, look at all the colours. Like, yes, it's a very typical, it's a lovely cover. It's a very typical fantasy cover. Um, <laughs> unless you're reading, why, probably YA readers. I'm joking before everyone cancels me on that one. I think a lot of the pushback that has gone through has been jealousy. I did see a video talking about... Um, the intent of the author, which I laughed at because I just thought, um, hi, you, you're you really overreaching with this. Um, <laughs> you know, this is a fantasy mystery. It's definitely in the adult fantasy frame. Thank God it's not YA. There's a little elements of thriller and a little crime fiction thrown in for good measure a little steampunk here and there but it is a fantasy and i like the lines being blurred i am absolutely loving it and i loved it yes it's short it's less than 100 pages on my kindle with the font size it actually reached 100 but you know what it does a lot i think a lot of people that have disliked it tend to point to the fact that it's short and it's it's not there isn't a huge build up but that is the style of a novella a novella is literally that it's just meant to be a little quick read and this packs a punch i love the world building i love the characters i think they're very strong i think they're i think there is a lot he's going to go and this definitely feels like a nice taster of what's to come and i'm looking forward to like a full novel series um I did find it hilarious when people were moaning about rating the ARC or before it's even come out. And I'm like, you know books, and I hate Goodreads, by the way, I do. You know a lot of books get rated before anyone's even read it. Look for the imaginary sequel of Stephanie Myers, the host. I mean, the ratings on that, but I do think people need to call it. I think people moaning about fake reviews... It's not fake reviews, it's people rating the book before it comes out, which I do dislike, but I mean, at the end of the day, people get excited and they enjoy it. I, I mean, it. this is what it is. 
it's a great little novella. It's an interesting world. I like the characters. I enjoy the story. I enjoy the... The writing style can be a little clumsy in places. But, again, this is his first novella. It's a little clumsy, yes. But a lot of... Um, in all honesty, a lot of um, books are clumsy. Writing styles vary, and his writing style is going to change over time. It's well edited, it's formed, it's well done, and I saw people moaning about, oh my god, indie writers, they're all full of some badly edited and cheap, and it's like, maybe if you sat down and actually looked at indie writers, rather than just looking on what's being pumped out on, like, Kindle Unlimited, you know, it, there is some phenomenal stuff that blows most general publishing out the water and i've said this before a lot of booktube won't touch indie books for the simple reason it's not a status symbol you know you get an arc from a big publisher and hi you can show it off and it's big and it will get you views and likes and interaction but something smaller won't which is a shame. It's a real shame. I am looking forward to what's to come. And this is a nice taster, a nice intro to this world. Yeah, I'm in. So Daniel, sign me up for what's coming next. I dare you.